According to the IDFA, the average American consumes over 23 pounds of ice cream every single year. And that's the average person only. In other words, there are people who consume even more ice cream, and some of them even consider it on a daily basis. Ice cream turned into a source of happiness, and what follows is the story of one of the biggest producers of this commodity, Ben & Jerry's. Hey everyone, and welcome to Booked, where we inspire others with inspiring stories. In today's video, we are going to go over the success story of Ben & Jerry's and talk about its founders. So make sure to watch this video till the end because we're going to share with you the books that the founders recommended and others that are related to the company. But before getting into the middle of today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Just as drugs, sweets are turning into an addiction for so many of us. At some point, it's almost undeniable that we have at least once closed our eyes while having that scoop of ice cream so that we can enjoy its flavor to the fullest. In fact, ice cream is so addictive that plenty of health and well-being websites advise people not to consume it on a daily basis, since there are a lot considering this idea. Ice cream nowadays equals pleasure, and this can be seen clearly in the standard cartoon when kids run after the ice cream van the second they hear the music from a far distance. To us, that's just a kid who wants to get some ice cream on a hot day, but to the brain, the music is stimulating the release of the feel-good hormone dopamine, which justifies why kids get excited. The thing is, ice cream is made in different variations. The International Food Distributors Association even classifies it in four different categories, from economy, to regular, to premium, to super premium. Interestingly, today's company's products are classified in the latter category, the super premium, and its story is even more interesting. The Going Nowhere Duo Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield grew up in New Island and met in the seventh grade in Merrick, New York. Soon enough, both Cohen and Greenfield became friends since they shared one particular aspect that would shape their future, the intense love for food. Interestingly, in one particular summer, Ben discovered his love for ice cream while working in an ice cream truck. For Ben, that was one hell of a job since he was serving the community, made $100 a week, and could eat any amount of ice cream he wanted. To Ben, that was a real pleasure, to the point that he even convinced his friend Jerry to join him. Jerry did join him. Still, he dropped after only one day of work because he didn't think that ice cream had a great future as other industries. Also, Jerry had different plans for his life and was hoping to join medical school. After graduating high school, each decided to undertake his own path. But both were sure that there is one thing that won't change over time, their friendship. Ben was not interested in attending college, and this justifies the fact that he dropped out of four different colleges, such as Colgate and NYU. For Ben, the only reason he joined college was because he didn't want to disappoint his parents. Ben had an interest for the professional world, and even when he was at college, he worked different jobs from a McDonald's cashier to a security guard to a janitor and more. As for Jerry, things weren't going well either. All of his 20 applications to join medical school were rejected. Jerry wasn't sure about his future for the time being, so he decided to join his old friend in his New York apartment and worked as a lab technician while taking a biochemistry class with hopes to try again to join medical school. Ben had his own plans as well. He got into the world of pottery with hopes to sell his products in different places, but just as Jerry, he didn't manage to succeed. In fact, some sources claim that he didn't sell a single pot, while Jerry got rejected from 20 medical schools again. Grinding to the top Both Ben and Jerry knew that on a certain scale, they're getting nowhere. But in reality, they're gaining experience and sorting out the things that didn't work for them. At some point, they thought of running a bagel business together, but the equipment was too expensive for them. Fortunately, this led them to consider one particular industry that would change their lives forever, the good old ice cream industry. So, Cohen and Greenfield decided to pay $5 each for a corresponding course on ice cream making. Then they picked some brochures on how to start a business and chose Saratoga Springs as their destination to start an ice cream shop there. Unfortunately, there was already one there, so they decided to change locations and went to Burlington. Burlington was a college town, so it was a no-brainer that college students would make use of some ice cream on sunny days. Ben and Jerry looked for different spots to open their ice cream shop and the only affordable one was a rundown gas station. That station wasn't a dream spot as well, it needed serious fixes. 
but this did not break the duo and they decided to go on with it and applied for a $26,000 loan, which they only received $4,000 from. This pushed them to do the fixing themselves in order to bring the place back to life. And in 1978, the duo finally opened their shop and named it Ben & Jerry's. Since Jerry had the necessary knowledge in biochemistry, and with some help from a textbook, the duo managed to create the perfect ice cream mix by using high-quality ingredients, and they decided later to add fruit chunks and candy as well. The problem is that profit was so limited, so Ben & Jerry's went for wholesale selling and serving to local restaurants. Still, that was not enough, and Ben & Jerry's eventually faced bankruptcy. But that did not stop the company. Instead, it pushed its founders to consider packing their ice cream in pint containers. And with that, their sales skyrocketed to more than 300%. With this, Ben & Jerry's kept growing and expanding to new areas and was becoming more successful day after another. From nowhere to somewhere better. In the following years, Ben & Jerry's became a $30 million empire. And in the year 2000, they were acquired by Unilever for $326 million. Still, Cohen and Greenfield were not lured by the shining effect, and they appointed a board of independent directors to ensure that the company keeps focusing on producing quality products and fighting for social change. Now Ben & Jerry's became one of the greatest ice cream manufacturers in the US and probably the world, producing some of the greatest ice cream flavors ever, such as the famous Ben & Jerry's Cherry Garcia. Also, the fight of the founders for their ethical mission not only made them one of the greatest entrepreneurs ever to exist, but it also made them one of the wealthiest, with a total net worth of $150 million for Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield each. Lessons to learn from Ben & Jerry's story Fight for what you believe ethically When Ben & Jerry kept facing financial difficulties, they did not stop their business or went for unethical strategies. Instead, they doubled their efforts and kept going because deep inside, they knew what they were doing is right. Never compromise quality for money when Unilever bought Ben & Jerry's for $326 million, Ben & Jerry made sure that the company will keep producing quality ice cream, fight for social change, and remain on the same track through a list of terms imposed by an independent board of directors. Keep innovating until it works. Ben & Jerry's success was not easily achieved. The founders faced different problems before making a significant achievement. But instead of giving up, they kept reshaping their business model and trying different options until they managed to create a decent income stream that would allow for the company to grow. Book Recommendations To grow as a successful person, you need to bear in mind that success is the result of the different components combined together, such as good education. And what follows is a list of books that can significantly help you achieve a good level of success such as Ben & Jerry's. Buzz Marketing Get People to Talk About Your Stuff by Mark Hughes recommended by Ben Cohen. This is a book that Ben Cohen describes as real marketing instead of fake marketing. In this book, Mark Hughes showcases to us some of the untold stories about a number of buzz generators, such as American Idol, and shows us what he learned as an executive and consultant. Ben & Jerry's Homemade Ice Cream and Dessert Book by Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield. This is one of the books that everyone who's in the world of ice cream should read at least once. Featuring over 90 recipes with colorful illustrations, Ben and Jerry take us on a journey of endless satisfaction, combining the pleasure of desserts and baked goods with fresh fruits, candies, cookies, and more. Ben and Jerry's Double Dip, How to Run a Values-Led Business and Make Money Too, by Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield. In this book, Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield show us how to build a successful business without compromising our ethics and values. It teaches you how to win customers' loyalty by committing to a social cause, gives practical advice in choosing employees and suppliers, and provides information about value-led finance. This book is a must-read for everyone who shares Ben & Jerry's vision and wants to start a business while maintaining their principles. Ben & Jerry's The Inside Scoop How Two Real Guys Built a Business with a Social Conscience and a Sense of Humor by Fred Lager In this book, Fred Lager tells us the story of Cohen and Greenfield from opening an ice cream shop in a renovated gas station to building a multi-million dollar empire from the perspective of a former CEO of Ben & Jerry's. Ice Cream Social The Struggle for the Soul of Ben & Jerry's by Brad Edmondson if you're looking for a book that focuses exclusively on the rise, challenges, mistakes, fall, and recovery of Ben & Jerry's, then this one is for you. Written by journalist Brad Edmondson, 
This book should be on every businessman's reading list if they ever wanted to lead a mission-driven business and avoid the mistakes that Cohen and Greenfield fell into. Ben and Jerry's journey is one story that we should all learn from. Being the smartest person in the room or the businessman with the most capital is not a necessity to grow a successful business with a premium brand. As long as you have a clear vision and love what you're doing for the sake of doing it and not for the money.